Hello friends, in this video we will learn about derived tables. The theory section I have already covered, that link for that video is available in this video description. You can go through it to understand what is derived table. So basically de derived table is, is a kind of a SQL means we can write it separately based on an existing table. So there are ways to create a derived table. So uh, means de why we need a derived table is basically when there is a like existing tables so we ca by using the existing tables we cannot perform some of the calculations or so we, so we cannot get some of the data which we are expecting so for that purpose we may need to perform some of the calculations based on the existing table so for that purpose we can write uh, derived tables so it is a sql query and it is same like a views in the database uh, we write like um, based on our, our business need so um, to create a derived table there are uh, couple of ways to create a derived table so from the data foundation so this is a data foundation which i have opened so in this data foundation you can click on insert tables insert derived table this is one way or else the other one is right click on this table and we can say uh, insert a derived table so if you want to create on a means based on this table then we can say insert derived table or else means we can have insert click on this insert derived table once this is a derived table means let um, uh, same is I'll just give some name here so and I can write some queries so miss, there are other options available here means when write uh, SQL query you have tables in this they, you have various functions if you want to use various functions database functions related to characters let string like that that we can use parameters if you want to use parameters uh, available within the universe that we can use list of values if you are having the list of values then we can use uh, that as well in the sql query so this is a more powerful um, way to build our uh, like uh, as per the business need if we for, want to perform some specific uh, functions and for that purpose we always specifically wanted to write the sql queries so for that purpose this derived table is uh, we can use so once we write this query um, so this is just uh, getting a number of transactions so suppose i wanted to perform a count of sale uh, so i just i just write this query um, and click on okay so now if you click on this so you will see means um, uh, this this new table got added here uh, it's a kind of a, like a new table uh, got added means then we can join this client id with this client table as well so from client id to client id we will see means we can detect the uh, cardinality and um, click on ok so what are the other fun uh, function like joins we specify to other tables it's same uh, applicable to this uh, derived table as well so this is the way we can um, use um, a derived table um, and uh, this uh, the this objects is now available to this data foundation and then that can be used in the business layer uh, for our purpose uh, to be um, to get to um, use it okay so this is one way means just using a single table means for multiple tables also we can uh, like merge uh, as a single uh, um, derived table so if we uh, select two tables two tables um, uh, in the data foundation and right click on then you will get an option of a merge so this is a merge uh, table let's see means will give see and um, so now if you see uh, these two tables are has been merged means now if you see um, this merging is nothing but a, a a combination of two tables it is a, like if the client and region as and they are joined with an uh, re, uh, inner join with their region id so this is an uh, this is again a, like a derived table that we can utilize uh, for our purpose so this is again a, a derived table which uh, which is we can use so if you right click on this as well means uh, anywhere in the in the uh, space blank space in the data foundation and insert means we'll have we'll get a insert derived table option so, so these are the ways uh, to add the derived table and this is the concept related to the derived table so i hope you have understood this concept 
uh, if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next new video thank you for watching